Hey guys, Greg here, Underground Graphics. Today we're going to show you the 3M door edge guard. We've had some people ask about if we if we offered any protection for the fenders when you remove your doors. You don't need a whole lot of it. Typically, it's just this top area right up here. Um, I've nicked it down here on the bottom as well. Um, if you've got a stripe kit on there, one of our kits, it'll help, but you can still nick that kit. Um, but it will protect the paint in most cases. Regardless, we wanted to offer a product that you guys could put on. If you do take the doors off, you want a little bit of extra protection on that. Um, again, this is the 3M Pro 200 PPF. Um, it's great stuff. Um, really simple install. We're going to sell this kit at $12.95, I believe. It's going to be two strips. They're 37 inches long, which is each one is long enough to, to cover a door. Basically, one for each fender. Like I said, you don't need the whole door but some people like me are OCD and just having that little piece up here may look kind of odd so we're going to go ahead and run that all the way down. If you want to do all the doors you can do that just get a second kit um, as well. We are going to do the fender and actually not the door and then you want to take the door off um, and again this is super thin it's optically clear so you're really not going to see it and that way we'll have access to do this without taking the door off. If you want to take the door off, put it on the front edge of the door, you can do that as well. Um, they're not the easiest things to take off, but we do that quite a bit. Um, anyway, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to go ahead and tuck that mirror in. And again, there are two strips on here. I'm going to go ahead and just pull one down as we go uh, and save that. The tools for this, we're going to use that alcohol water mix. Again, I like to use that 10% alcohol, 90% water um, in a 16 ounce bottle. Uh, I already wiped this down, but again, just to make sure, that's where we're going to get that at, at, that good adhesion. Since this is PPF, you would say, well, don't, aren't we going to install that wet? It's just a small enough piece that just really just stick it and, and, and go. We don't need to worry about that slip solution for this little edge guard piece. Um, you are going to want scissors or a knife. That's what we're going to use to trim that edge. These do start with a rounded corner, so down here at the bottom is where we're going to have that, that cut that's kind of more, more out of the way. I believe these are about a half inch wide, so I'm going to leave this, this not close that door so we can kind of see where we're going to lay that in there. And again, make sure our hands are clean. I'm going to spray a little bit of alcohol. A little bit of alcohol. Because you will touch this. Good. Let me just pull that one from right here. And I'm just going to want to pull one up from that. Let's go ahead and get this started. So basically, I'm going to follow this edge. And basically, again, this edge here is going to go right just barely touching that door. I'm hoping it's not going to grab when I close that door. And you don't have to pull hard on this. Again, it's PPF, so it will... Okay, you don't have to do the whole door. I want it just to make sure and again my OCD of not having that it looks like we're going to cut right about here now we can open that door and again you heard that there we go and now we can roll that edge in and this is where you're just going to want to a little bit at a time. You've got a bend right here, so I'm going to go ahead and get all this easy part done. And start working that in. Again, this part here, you got a little bit of that, that um, bump in that. If you want to use a little bit of heat, you can. I 
think this will be just fine as long as you go slow and steady and roll that over. Guys, that was really easy. That was my first time to do that. And um, something so simple. Uh, let's see if we can get that light back on there. Um, as long as you clean this paint, it'll be optically clear. Like I said, you can barely see that edge on there and that will absolutely save from when you're taking this door off. When you go back on those hinges, it is so easy to nick this corner on that. Um, and again, totally up to you if you want to use the full strips, you can. Otherwise, we can cut those down. If you want to go in the rear, use them on the gate. Um, just glad to help you guys out. So this is something um, to help solve those little nicks. If you have any questions, give us a call. See you next time.